Hi, it's Craig the Spa Tech, and uh, this video I am replacing a heater relay board uh, because the back side of one of these relays on the circuit board blew out. We had a Lim OK LED that was lit, indicating the high limit circuit was fine. The red heater on LED was lit, indicating there was a call for heat, but it wasn't heating. And so what I had done was I had pulled the heater wires. This is your heater output. We had voltage tested at inputs 1 and 3, which goes through these relays and out to the heater. Input voltage at 1 and 3 was good, and voltage out to the heater was bad. Um, this is a 115 volt plug-in spa with the sideways prong and the GFCI cord. Yours may have more wires because it's a dual breaker. Uh, when you disconnect those wires, it's a good idea to number them uh, 1 through 5. Um, or uh, one, two, three, and five, uh, depending on what spa you have. So uh, it's not uh, confusing getting it all back together. So I am removing the wires that bring power from the relay board over to the main board. The bracket, which is held on by a ground and two screws. The Rounds, I like to keep them on the wire so I don't lose them, so... Uh, no sense taking the wires off. Now, when you take this board off, this is very important, these are spring-loaded pins right here. So you grab it here, and as you're lifting the board off, you have to rock it back and forth to get these spring-loaded uh, receptacles off these prongs. That's very important. I see a lot of these new boards this is the new board. I've seen a lot of these installed and they're just set against that. They're not pushed on. Take your fingers, rock, and get those spring-loaded pins in. So, um, notice that this board being 115, it had a dual jumper on 1 and 2 and a triple jumper on 3, 4, and 5. Uh, if you have a converted spa, you'll have a dual jumper. Most spas with five wires going in don't have any jumpers, so follow um, your old board and your wiring uh, diagram here on jumpers. Being that your old board had heater inputs on these terminals here and here, and now your heater inputs are H2 and H1, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a triple jumper, just like on the old board, and we're going to put it in there, jumping three, four, and five. Push it in nice and tight until it is recessed. Take another triple jumper and break the center out so we're making a double wide double jumper out of a triple. So we're uh, connecting one and two, jumping over H1. So that's going in there. Again, if you have a dual breaker spa with um, many wires, you're not going to be doing this uh, jumpers. So. The new board has a chip here covered with a piece of tape. The reason they do that is this bracket actually touches those legs on the chip. I like to notch that out or bend it up with pliers so when the bracket goes on these new style boards, it doesn't hit the legs on that chip there. So I'm going to put this bracket on and it's going to clear those. Um, I have my ground going in here, the heater ground going in here. I dropped that screw on the floor so I'll install that later. These uh, jumper wires going from the relay board to the main board, they're labeled white, red, black. Make sure you get them right. They should go on snug. If they go on really loose, um, Pull them off, squeeze them with a pair of pliers so it kind of crimps them in, and so they go on nice and snug. Also make sure that they're going inside the metal terminal. They're not going on the outside of the terminal between the terminal and the plastic surround. I've seen that happen, and then these uh, get hot and they get toasted. So make sure those go on correct and nice and snug. So I've got... Uh, Neutral is always on number five. If you accidentally run a hot wire in on number five, you'll most likely blow that board. So, um, it is all back together here. Um, 
except for the heater connections. One of the differences between the old and the new is that the old heater went on with these push-on solderless terminals. Now we got spring jaw connectors H2 and H1. So you will be snipping these terminals off here and stripping a half inch wire and just opening up the jaw connectors to put them on H1 and H2. I just replaced a heater relay board and, um, oh, I didn't show you that. That's the old relay board. Boom, blew out the solder job. So that's why it failed. You'll often see soot in here um, along with the blown. You might even see some white grayish dots down here when that solder blew out. It made little uh, white solder stains down there. But there it is. Uh, I hope you learned something. And if you did, give me a like. Thanks.